It's almost trick-or-treat time, and have I got a spooky one for you. <laughs> It's your man Z, and I'm looking at some scary movies for you guys as a bit of a horror buff. I wanted to take a look at some horror movies and give you my feedback on them and tell you whether or not you should check them out. Looking for some obscure ones and some other uh, strange ones out there. If you'd like, I'll give them a review if you want to put them down in the comments. But this one is Trick or Treat. It's one that's it's been around for a long time, since 2007. Yeah, it was made a while ago, and I did not know that much about it. I knew this little guy here, Sam. He was a little mischievous fella. I, I didn't know, I don't know if the guy knew his name. I just knew there was this like little sack-headed kid that was doing stuff. I literally went into this completely blind, had no idea what I was looking or what it was about. Turns out it's a bit of an anthology, kind of like Creep Show or Tales from the Crypt, except these stories are kind of interwoven in the same town, not necessarily by theme or there's no overarching theme or anything like that. So if you're looking for that, you're not going to get it. Uh, well crafted, briskly paced. It's 122 minutes. You can blast right through it. Nice little Halloween movie. I think you'll enjoy it. I enjoyed it. Rotten Tomatoes has it at 84%, 25,000 ratings from the audience, 71%. It's a little better than that, but, you know, whatever. It's, it's fine. I get it. I think people, like, on the pantheon of, like, horror great movies, like, it's not campy enough to be considered, like, a, a campy classic horror movie, and it's not scary enough to really be considered anything other than, than what it is as far as an anthology. I did think it has two really good things going for it. And I'm not going to spoil anything here for you, but just to give you an idea, there's one transformation in it that I think is one of the better transformations I think I've ever seen, at least from that type of genre. So you get a really, really cool transformation. And then on the second hand, you have this that, that little fellow there. Sam is, is a really good character design. Real solid. Some of the things they do with him, I really enjoyed him. I think he makes for you know some, some interesting scenes there. It says here, uh, critic consensus, a deftly crafted tribute to Halloween legends, trick or treat. Hits all genre marks with gusto and old fashioned suspense. Uh, you have, uh, do, you know, director and writer Michael Doherty, producer Brian Singer. We don't talk about Brian Singer. Uh, and starring some of Hollywood favorites, right? Like Anna Paquin, Brian Cox, Dylan Baker, Leslie Bibb, all famous people doing lots of fun, famous things. In fact, it's probably the best. Anna Paquin's ever looked. You're never gonna see her look at Look at this. <laughs> she might look pretty weird, but she looks the best she ever looked. Just point it out there for you folks. Um, she gives a good performance. I think she's like, I don't know, hard to d just decide what, what's the deal with her. Clearly she knows something about Brian Singer. She did a lot of Brian Singer movies. She was in the X-Men movies and Brian Singer I think is responsible for those. Hope I'm not speaking out of turn there. I think I'm right though. So, um, Fascinating. It was delayed for two years. Got a lot of critical complaint. Uh, 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 acclaim has garnered a strong cult following. In 2013, they announced the sequel. That clearly never happened. So uh, the one thing that did happen is you could check out the Scare Zone in, in Halloween Horror Nights in Universal Studios Orlando Resort, where it says Universal Orlando Resort followed by haunted house <laughs> so it's interesting it is i guess it's uh five stories so there's like an opening there's a story about the principal that one's just okay halloween bus massacre yeah not that great surprise party i really enjoyed and sam i really enjoyed although those were the best the strongest of the stories i don't know if it did well but i do know it did well on direct to dvd and things like that and that's where the cult following really kind of came up so if you're looking for something fun and short and easy to get through, fun to consume, you're looking for a scary movie, this one's got some gore in it. It's got a little unnecessary nudity for some reason. I don't know. It just does. You know, it's kind of a throwback, right? It seems like more of a, almost like an 80s or, or like, I mean, it is from, two yeah, like a late 90s type movie. So 
But I enjoyed it. I hope you do too. Uh, Be sure to catch our full-length audio podcast or contact us on Instagram. Tell me what you liked. Did you like this movie? Have you seen it? Do you recommend anything else like this? Would you like me to review some crazier movies? I do have a whole plethora of crazy movies that I enjoy, especially from the horror side. So thank you for watching. I hope we earned your subscription. Please give us a like if you did. Uh, Really appreciate you watching this uh, little clip we did here. And as far as me... I am on to the next one. Ah.